Good morning to a rather cool and blustery but sunny winter's Canberra morning here today. I start in the suburb of Dixon which is in the inner north of Canberra, approximately three kilometres north of the central districts district business of Canberra or Civic as they call it there um, along Northbourne Avenue which is the main thoroughfare through Canberra and also where the light rail that connects Canberra and Gungahlin uh, goes on. But anyway today um, as some of you might know Canberra is often known as the most progressive city in Australia always been at the forefront of you know leading new trials in technology and innovation so they've had these e-scooters that you can hire for quite some time now so I thought what better way to um, give them a go today um, there's two main operators in Canberra where you can just basically hire a scooter anywhere on the side of the road in the Civic area and also around central Canberra and in certain areas of the satellite cities. So today there's there's two operators, there's Beam Mobility and there's Neuron. Um, you can get a two day pass where you can use it up to two hours a day. It's all cumulative, so you stop start, that's fine. As long as you sign the scooters in and out with the QR code. I think it was $25 for the two day pass from memory. Like, Correct me if I'm wrong, it may have gone up in price now. But yeah, uh, today I've hired one of those. I'm going to actually scoot over to the satellite city of Belconnen. It's about an eight kilometer journey. Um, you can only access it on an e-scooter through the Bruce Ridge, which is one of Canberra's great little shared cycle walking scooter paths. Um, takes you through some nice um, natural bushland as you go over the Bruce Ridge. Um, yeah, so today we're going to go to Balkan and have a look at the satellite city there, which is Canberra's largest. The other satellite cities obviously being Woden, Gingal and Tuggeranong. Um, Canberra's a very well planned out city as some of you might know. I've lived there previously so I'm quite familiar with the area um, but yeah so each little town centre has its own uh, sort of mini central business district you could say they usually have like a town centre, shopping centres, restaurants, bars, um, government offices then they have all sort of suburbs that uh, expand out around that satellite city and their own tr transportation network and all that sort of stuff. So really interestingly planned out city Canberra. But yeah, so yeah, today I'm, yeah, we'll, we'll scoot out to Belcon and I'll show you like what one of their main satellite cities looks like. As I had a bonus, we're going to go up the Mount Painter Nature Reserve, which is a little um, small hill, mountain, whatever you want to call it. Um, in the suburb of Aranda, some great natural bushland there, and then up the top of Mount Painter. It was pretty windy today, but nonetheless, you're going to see some magnificent views around Black Mountain, Canberra itself, and also looking back towards the Bolconnen town centre and the suburbs of surrounding Bolconnen. Then I'll finish up at Lake Ginderella, uh, which is a, another lake that goes around the centre of Bell Conant. So yeah, it should be a relaxing video today. Plenty of nice natural scenery and bushland to be seen. So yeah, just sit back, relax and enjoy it.
Really hope you've enjoyed today's uh, journey today as we hired an e-scooter in C Canberra and scooted around to Belconnen, a neighbouring nearby satellite city. Really hope you enjoyed the views, especially as we cross the Bruce Ridge, which is the only way that you can take an e-scooter over to Belconnen. Yeah, and hopefully that little hike up Mount Paint uh, Nature Reserve was another bonus for you as well. But yeah, really, if you enjoyed this video, I appreciate you give it a like, hit that subscribe and bell button and be appraised for the latest videos. The next one, I'll be um, showing you a bit more around central Canberra itself, scooting around Lake Burley Griffith and showing around some of Canberra's most famous institutions or Australia's most famous institutions for that matter. But yeah, until next time, feel free to visit my website aussiejetsetter.com.au where you'll see all the latest flight reviews, industry news, destination guides, frequent flyer hacks and more. But until next time, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and stay safe wherever your travels might take you.